So back when I was just a kid, my parents had this really old, really bulky, really heavy mechanical typewriter. And I never really, you know, put paper in and learned how to use it. To be honest, I was only five years old and I just enjoyed the sound of the keys. But, you know, people back when I was growing up, they used, um, they used typewriters like this or the big bulky box um, desktop computers. Nowadays, a lot of people can use either something like a MacBook Air or a Chromebook to get your writing done. Especially Chromebook, it's very efficient because all you have is the web. It's very lightweight Linux and uh, all you have is the web, no maintenance, no additional brouhaha to worry about. But when it comes to um, something like a Mac or even writing on, say, an iPad, you get the potential to be distracted, even on a Chromebook, because it's primarily the web. Sure, you could get into, um, you know, whatever you're writing, but then what if all of a sudden you get distracted? You're thinking, oh, somebody wrote me something on Facebook or something. somebody pinned me something on Pinterest. You know, you get this urge to go check it out, and it kind of distracts you from your writing. Now, there are dedicated word processing devices on the market. These are especially helpful in the special education for students who have trouble writing um, due to their exceptionality. And I've seen devices like the Alpha Smart or something similar. The problem is, these devices, while they may be a digital um, take on the typewriter, don't necessarily incorporate things like Cloud Drive and um, automatic saving that we're used to on something like a Chromebook or using Google Docs on an iPad. That's where this comes in. This is, um, it's supposed to look like an old-fashioned typewriter, but this is something called the Hemming Wright. The Hemming Wright is a cross, um, I guess you could call it a cross between an old-fashioned typewriter and a modern-day internet-driven device in the sense that, no, you cannot browse the web on it. It's a completely distraction-free writing environment. However, it does have the ability, if I turn on magnification to give you a better view, if you take a look here at the top screen, it's an electronic ink screen, so it looks a lot like paper, and it's going to last a long time on a charge. Over here on this side, you got your battery, but over here on this side is Wi-Fi. Now, if this is a distraction-free writing device, why would you want Wi-Fi? Well, if we go back to devices like the iPad and a Chromebook and a MacBook Air, all of these devices you can go online and access your your documents from the web. The Hemming Wright is supposed to allow you to do that. It basically takes the digital Alpha Smart and gives it web connectivity and a vintage typewriter look and feel, which um and adds to it the ability to not worry about saving. So it's a modern word processor that is completely automatic. And you can go online to Google Drive at a later time and your document will be there. It's just a it's just a no distraction, no worries, no maintenance writing experience. Now, coming from an educator's point of view, um, regardless of whether or not um, a child is in regular ed or special ed, I think all students could benefit from this. And technology is, the, te the technology world that these kids live in is pretty much handed to them. I didn't grow up with it. I mean, I grew up with computers, obviously, but I didn't grow up with the 100% 24-7 connected world we live in now. These kids will be. And I think that because of that, it's very easy, especially for the younger kids, to get distracted. So something like this would be perfect for the classroom environment. They could go ahead and start a paper on this device and take it home and continue it and let's say they're on vacation if their parents want to go on vacation and they have access say to a relative's computer 
but for whatever reason they can't take the Hemingright with them, say it's school property, they've got to keep it on campus, um, that's no problem because the Hemingright would store their documents on Google Drive in the cloud and they would be able to continue from anywhere. So this is the Kickstarter site. In fact, if you do a Google search for Hemingright, you will see that this is going to come up. And there's a little video here. I'll let you watch this on your own time. But what it says here is the Hemingright is a distraction-free writing tool with modern technology like a mechanical keyboard, electronic paper screen, and cloud backups. Everything, from what I understand, now I've seen the video, from what I understand, everything is completely automatic. And I think at the time of this recording, now today is the, is it the 10th or the 11th? 10th. So it's the 10th when I'm recording this. So you've got until, if we take a look here, you've got until... January 23rd, 2015. Now, I personally do not have the disposable income at the time I'm making this video. I do not have the disposable income to back this. Otherwise, I personally would because, excuse me, creating a distraction-free writing environment, I think, would be a wonderful tool in the classroom as well as at home. I love to write personally. I love to write various pieces of fiction science fiction. I also like to write, in, if you look back at the video I put up that says We Are One, I basically wrote that and the inspiration from the uh, from that piece of writing that I did was a piece of music that I listened to. So I love to write, I love to, it's my way of being creative and I would personally love to see this take off. What do you guys think? Again, like I said, do a Google search or you can go to kickstarter.com Get the information on this. It's the Hemingwright digital, distraction-free digital typewriter. I would like to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.